Hey guys, Chris here from Motorshare. I'm going to be walking around and pointing out all the things that I like about the Porsche 911. Of course, its beautiful front end looks lovely on a 2012 Porsche 911 and of course its iconic Porsche 911 headlights which the bug-eyed look, they look fantastic. Another thing I like is the amount of food space here, especially for a coupe. You can actually take this out to the grocery shop and just, you know, put all your groceries and items in there as well. I do like how easy access it is, so like the battery, the wiper, washer, fluid, bottle under there too, and just maintaining all the things under here is quite easy too as well. Just remove this cover. As we walk along the side of the Porsche 911 here, I do love the satin grey 20 inch mags here. They are beautiful. They're fitted with Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tyres, which are fantastic for grip. The ease of getting into your fuel cap here. Literally push this, open it. Nice and easy to siphon. <laughs> Fantastic colour, as I said before. Um, I love the design of these side mirrors here. They look fantastic. They're sleek, they're aerodynamic, which is beautiful. Just the whole shape of the side of the car just looks fantastic, you know, as you would expect. It's actually quite wide bodied here, which is awesome. Um, you can really see it from the rear view mirror when you're driving. It just sort of feels big and chunky from the outside, or from the inside, I should say, which is perfect. So as we move along the side of the car around to the back of it here, again, those 20 inch satin grey mags, which are fantastic. They look awesome. Porsche did an amazing job on them. Those. As we come around to the back here, power lights, oh, they look fantastic. A just iconic Porsche look. They really sharpen them up from the model below the 2012 there. They look fantastic. Again, we go to the spoiler here. This is retractable, so we go up or down. I just like it up. Just looks cool. As we move around the back of the vehicle here, I like to point out the lights. They really refine this from uh, the previous version. This is the 2012 to 2016. They really did a fantastic job at sharpening up the lines and just making it look really sleek. I love the look of the rear of this vehicle. It's fantastic. Um, as we move over to the spoiler here, uh, it is retractable. I just like it up. When you're driving, it's cool. Just looks better. Aesthetically, of course, it does have an aerodynamic purpose. Probably not much of an aerodynamic purpose, to be fair, but it looks mean. Of course, the badging here, nice and clean. 911 Carrera S, which is two-wheel drive, basically. You've got the twin pipes coming out the back here. Great noise, of course. You know, they are standardized by Porsche, so, you know, you could put an aftermarket system on it. But with these towel pipes here in the car, which I'll show you later in this uh, walkthrough, you can open up the valves, which obviously make the car a little bit noisier, which is fantastic. We've made our way inside the vehicle now, and as you can see, classic Porsche, really clean, really simple, very comfortable. Great leather seats in this particular vehicle. I love the stainless steel finish on the door handles here. Your cluster is nice and clean, fantastic, albeit it is in miles per hour. The left one, but it does have kilometers per hour in digital, which is nice and convenient and great if you wanted to ship this vehicle back overseas. Cool. I love the little carbon fiber accents on the gear knob there. Obviously, it's an automatic with the PDK transmission, so it shifts so smoothly, it's fantastic. If you want to go into manual mode, you can. You can use the gear lever to shift up and down, otherwise you've got the paddles here, which are nicely situated on the on the back of the steering wheel there, which is fantastic. Really easy to use, again, really smooth. You've got your cruise control, which is fantastic. Really easy to use, again, literally set it at the speed that you want to do, and it'll stay there for you. You've got your menu lever here, which is really, really convenient to use. You can go through all the options on the onboard system here check your vehicle details out oil level all those types of things here in the center console here we've got a few cool buttons you've got sport you've got your dynamic adjustment of your suspension which sort of just stiffens things up and makes it really sort of racy i suppose traction control off you know if you want to get a little bit naughty but obviously we don't allow that for motor share you've got your wing retraction here or you can put it up as well and your automatic start and stop so if you get the lights and you really want to you know save a bit of fuel whatever fuel you're saving <laughs> You can turn that off, the engine will cut out, or cut out, turn off, and as soon as you come off the brake again, it'll start up and you're on your way. And then you've also got your exhaust valve button here, as I explained out the back, push that button, make the thing a little bit louder, which is fantastic. I always have that on. It should always be on in a Porsche. You've got your, again, your entertainment system here. Now the 2012 doesn't have the car play, but it is an edited. Uh, Porsche does allow it to be added in with a software update, which you can do as well. You have all your aircon, 
fan settings up here, really simple, really easy to use. And this particular vehicle, it's got the, the heated seats, which is a little bit of an add-on, which is quite nice for those cold mornings. I know, you know, leather is very, very cold. But apart from that, yeah, guys, just a very simple, clean interior. Porsche is all about the driving experience. So you're not gonna have the flash interior, to be completely honest with you. It's functional, it's simple, it's clean, it's classy. You do have the back two seats in here, which to be honest, um, unless you're the motor chef stig, you ain't putting anything in there. But they're great for smaller kids, I suppose. You've got your glove box, you've got your cup holders in here. What else do you need, really? Um, the car's all about their driving experience. The seats are fantastic and it's comfortable for, for you. Alrighty guys, well we're going to take the Porsche out for a bit of a bit of a spin around the block. So um, nice and simple start up, as you saw in the previous clip there. Literally foot on the brake, you've got your electronic parking down on the side here, and literally as you would a normal automatic, you take off. Super smooth. You don't really feel a lot of the road, which is fantastic in this. If you wanted to stiffen up again. Then you can push our suspension dynamic button here, which stiffens things up, which makes it a little less comfortable. But you know, if you're going for a nice wee drive, it would certainly be certainly be a uh, a button I'd like to push along with the sports and the open valves. But again, if we want to go into manual mode, we can literally as simple as this, just push the paddles left and that left is down, right is up a gear. It's so smooth, it's fantastic. The PDK gearbox is incredible it really is Porsche have done a fantastic job on that the thing you have to get used to is uh, if you drive a, uh, a Japanese car like I do the indicators are on the opposite side so uh, keep that in mind which is a real pain otherwise you keep hitting your window wipers which can be a real pain in the butt so I've got her actually forced into manual mode as you can see by the gear knob here which basically elongates the RPM so I can literally go right up to 8,000 RPM if I really wanted to and then I'm primarily using the paddles which is fantastic. As we come up to the lights here, I'll go around the block here and I'll do a little bit of a takeoff just so you can really get to grips with uh, how quick this classy little Porsche 911 really is. So smooth, you love that. Coming around the corner there, you gotta be a little bit careful. It is rear wheel drive, the arse does like to come out on you, which is, you know, that's what you get with a, a rear wheel drive Porsche, but it's so fun, it's so smooth. It makes a hell of a racket, which is nice. But then the good thing with this vehicle is you can drive it as if you were going to work. You can put it back in the drive, forget about the paddles, close the exhaust valves, and you're back to just driving a really nice looking classy Porsche. But that's what I like about Porsche. It's either on or off. You know, you're not always on in the sense of, I need to drive fast everywhere. You can just drive around, look extremely cool in a very nice looking Porsche, or you can get into that sort of racy mode and, and boost around everywhere. But um, yeah, so there you go, guys. That's a little four of uh, the Porsche movie. If you're feeling excited about exotic cars, check us out at motorshare.co.nz where we offer yearly subscriptions so you can drive the car of your dreams.